Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Giga Berlin will reportedly expand by 30% to make way for future operations. Tesla Cybertruck becomes mobile refreshment unit for Giga Texas workers. Tesla's second service center in Mississippi is coming later this year. And Tesla Model X with CCS charge port and round steering wheel spotted in the Netherlands. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla is reportedly planning to expand operations at Gigafactory Berlin in Germany. New reports suggest the automaker will make a massive purchase of 100 additional hectares of land near its production facility, known as Gigafactory Berlin, in Grunheed. Tesla plans to use the new land for a freight station and storage purposes, while keeping other areas on the property free, as it could expand manufacturing operations in the future. Tesla currently owns nearly 300 hectares of land in Germany, where the Gigafactory Berlin plant currently stands. However, reports from German media outlet RBB24 now indicate that Tesla has plans to purchase an additional 100 hectares on the site which would expand operations at the facility. According to the report, Tesla wants to keep vacant land that it already owns on the Giga Berlin property free so that it can expand manufacturing operations later on. The additional 100 hectares that the automaker could purchase would be used for storage and a possible freight station for material transport. RBB24 said in its report that official circles have been discussing the potential expansion of Tesla's Gigafactory Berlin property ownership. The price for the additional 100 hectares of land Tesla intends to purchase is currently unclear. However, Tesla received an unbelievable deal for the 300 hectare property it obtained that now houses the Gigafactory Berlin production plant. Tesla paid just 40.91 million euros, or 45.48 million dollars, or about 13 euros and 52 cents per square meter for the property, located in Grunheed. This was significantly less than what Tesla paid in Shanghai, which was slightly more than 140 million dollars, for just 86.5 hectares. Like Giga Berlin, the purchase and planning of the site will have to be approved by the municipality of Grunheed, which could discourage some investors who were up to date on the bureaucratic processes that Germany offered to Tesla. Gigafactory Berlin was delayed several times due to red tape, which eventually subsided, and Tesla was able to begin operations in early 2022. Tesla reportedly wants to propose to the community representatives to begin taking initial steps in June. All authorities, including the Water Association, Straussberg Erkner, have to approve Tesla's plans. Construction could begin as soon as June 2023 at the earliest, the report concludes. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck becomes mobile refreshment unit for Giga Texas workers. The Tesla Cybertruck may not be in production yet, but it is already being used around some of the company's facilities. While updated alpha prototypes of the all-electric pickup truck are being developed and refined in California, the Cybertruck's first alpha unit seems to have found its home in Giga, Texas. It's not just on display either. As could be seen in a recent upload on Tesla's official Instagram page, the original Cybertruck prototype had been used as a mobile refreshment unit for Giga, Texas workers. The video was fun and brief, and it showed two Tesla employees passing around refreshments for workers around Giga, Texas. It's quite interesting to see Tesla's original Cybertruck prototype still being used by the company. The design of the all-electric pickup truck has evolved since its unveiling in November 2019, with the vehicle getting updates on its door handles and windshield, to name a couple. Still, it's difficult not to be impressed with Tesla's original Cybertruck design. Its brutalist look, cold steel frame, and giant futuristic wheels give it the impression that it truly is a vehicle for the future. Compared to Tesla's updated prototypes, which look more refined and closer to production, the original Cybertruck Alpha unit feels more unapologetic and imposing. The wait for the Cybertruck continues, though Tesla CEO Elon Musk has stated that the vehicle should enter production sometime next year. 
The vehicle would be produced in Gigafactory, Texas, and it would likely be equipped with the company's 4680 battery cells. Comments from Tesla's Q1 2022 earnings call also hinted that the Cybertruck may adopt an 800-volt architecture. Tesla executives remain optimistic about the Cybertruck, despite its delays. During the Cyber Rodeo, Elon Musk noted that the Cybertruck could very well be Tesla's magnum opus. Tesla design chief, Franz von Holzhausen, was on the same page, noting that the vehicle will definitely be well worth the wait. Moving to the next update, Tesla's second service center in Mississippi is coming later this year. Tesla owners in Mississippi will soon have their second sales, service, and delivery center. Local developers RCI, LLC, and Trelm Properties announced recently that they have secured Tesla as a tenant for their building at 255 Marlin Drive in Brandon. The property was purchased earlier this year, and when thinking about who they wanted to have as a tenant, they immediately thought of Tesla. On a whim, Trelm Properties co-owner Adam Savage found contact information online for someone at Tesla and sent them an email, not expecting anything to come of it. Savage told the Clarion Ledger Tesla was interested and flew out to look at the property before signing on the dotted line. The companies released a render of what the building will look like when Tesla moves in. Renovations are currently underway on the 25,000-square-foot building, with Tesla expected to move in by fall 2022. The location is just a short three-mile drive from Tesla's only other location in Mississippi at 322 Airport Road S. Moving to the last update, Tesla Model X, with CCS charge port and round steering wheel, spotted in the Netherlands. Ahead of its launch outside of North America, Tesla has brought a refresh Model X, with the new CCS charge port to the Netherlands, for testing purpose. The black Model X, with 20-inch Cyberstream wheels, was spotted plugged in at a local supercharger, earlier this week, by Fred Christenhis. Instead of using the proprietary Tesla connector, the electric SUV was plugged in using the CCS connector without an adapter. While that in and of itself is an interesting sighting, although not the first, what was inside the car that was even more interesting. In another photo of the same scene, taken from a different angle, we can see the Model X has a traditional round steering wheel. This is of course a departure from the yoke steering wheel that is currently standard on both the Model X and Model S vehicles. This obviously isn't the first time we have seen a round steering wheel instead of a yoke. Almost all of Tesla's early test vehicles featured the round steering wheel, presumably because of a lack of supply of the yoke wheel until it entered full production. With this car having been built very recently and for it to still have the round steering wheel is an intriguing decision. Elon Musk bluntly said no when asked last year if there would ever be a round steering wheel option for the flagship vehicles. However, as we all know, Musk is known to change his mind on such matters, having already reintroduced an airbag horn on the yoke steering wheel, although it is still waiting for a software update to be enabled. There have been reports on steering wheel yoke swap in Tesla's software update. We don't know what this means exactly, other than the fact that since the diagnostic tool found it in the car's software, it's there for a reason, and it could be that Tesla is preparing its cars for such a swap, but haven't made it public yet. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.